Hello everyone. So in previous lecture we have studied about the linear data structure that is stack and uh, some of the algorithm related to stack that is push algorithm, pop algorithm, uh, peep and display. Now today what we are going to see that uh, we are going to study about the applications of stack, right. So some of the very basic application, the first one that is reversing a string, right, that is the very uh, basic and the easiest example uh, of uh, stack. So how can we reverse a particular string? So for that we need only two operation of stack that is push and pop, right. So ultimately if we want to reverse a string, so uh, suppose I am having uh, any character like a college, C-O-L-L-E-G-E, -E, right, college and if I want to reverse it that I can do using this stack, right. So any of the uh, letters or string I can reverse it using this. So let us take one example, right. So here we have the name angel, right. And if I want to reverse the entire string, so what I need to do, first of all we need to push one by one characters, right, all the characters one by one to the stack. Right, that is my first thing, right. So uh, here we are having angel, so first of all we need to push first of all A, right, so here we are pushing the A, right, so that is a push operation, then the second one that is N, then G, then E and L, right. So we have pushed all the characters A, N, G, E, L, right, so at the uh, end of this we have, at the end of this push operation we are having this entire stack having the uh, string angel, right. Now what I need to do, the next step that we need to pop the characters one by one, right, because ultimately here first of all my top is here, right, and, and the last one my top will be incremented and the last one top will be here, right. So we need to uh, pop the character one by one, so first of all it is, uh, as you know, stack that is insertion and deletion take place from the one and only and the other and is fixed, right. So from the topmost element we are going to uh, start popping out, right. So first element that is pop that is L. Then the second one that is E, so here we have L and E, right. Then the third one that is G that is popped out, so we have L, E, G, right. Then the next one we have popped out that is N, so we have L, E, G, N and then the last one here I have popped out all the characters, so that means I am having here L, E, G, N, A, that is the reverse of angel, right, and the my stack is empty, right. So this is one of the very basic uh, example, uh, application of stack for that, uh, like for reversing a string that needs only two operation. First we need to continuously push until the string is ended and then we need to continuously pop. Then the next application, another application that we have that is conversion of expression, mathematical expression, for uh, converting the mathematical expression, this tech is very useful, right. Now in this, uh, for the complex mathematical expression, we have three types of expressions, right, uh, we call it notations, right, so that is infix notation, prefix notation and a postfix notation, right. So what is infix notation? Some of you might knowing this infix, prefix and postfix. For those who are not knowing this, let us just go through it, right. So infix notation, that means what? That we are having characters, right, that is operand and operators, right. Ultimately we are having two things in any mathematical expression, operand and operators, right. Here we are taking a character as an operand, right. So if my operator symbol are placed between two operands, right, then the expression is known as infix uh, notation, right, or infix expression. Here as you know that this A and B, these are operands and this plus is operator, right. And as you can see, this plus is placed in between this A and B, so that means operator is placed in between A and B, so this is known as infix notation, right. Similar way we have the prefix notation, now what is the difference in the prefix notation in that 
uh, the operator symbol here in this case it's a plus right so that operator symbol is placed before the operands right so we are having this a and b that are the operands so before that operand plus is placed so that is known as prefix notation then we have postfix notation right so postfix notation is nothing but uh, in that uh, operator is placed after the operands right so here you can see a b plus right so this is postfix notation right this prefix notation is also known as polish notation the another name for this prefix is polish notation right and for the postfix expression it is also known as reverse polish notation so if someone ask you that uh, convert it into the polish notation do not get confused polish notation is nothing but it's a prefix notation and reverse polish notation it's nothing but a postfix expression right now here are the some examples right in fix notation prefix notation and a postfix notation right so we'll see one by one how it will be converted right so first one we are having this a plus b right we are having this a plus b and if we want to convert it into the prefix form so here as you can see we are having only one operator and a two operands so simply if i this is the infix one no? this one is infix and if i want to convert it into prefix simply i need to move this operand before the operator right so it is plus a b right similar way if i want to convert it into postfix so for the postfix one simple is we need to move our operator after the operand right so here we can have a b plus right so this is the simple with only one operator but what if i am having more than one operator right if i am having two operators three operators uh, four five operators then what right so for that there must be some criteria there must be some uh, rules that which operator i need to take first suppose i am having plus minus together so first i need to solve the first uh, plus one or a move plus one or the minus one or the uh, multiplication which one right so that have some criteria that is known as a precedence right so i'll show you over here that basically first of all the highest priority or we can say highest precedence that is uh, for the brackets right so if brackets are there if brackets are there in our equation even our expression then first of all we need to solve this bracket right whatever inside that bracket we need to solve that right then dollar symbol right now dollar symbol is nothing but a power symbol so instead of this dollar symbol sometimes they have this cap symbol right so suppose we are having like a uh, 3 square right so we can write it like this 3 power 2 or we can write this like 3 dollar 2 right so this is the first precedence that is for the brackets the second precedence that is a dollar or we can consider it as a cap operator right then the third one that is for the modulo right ultimately if you consider this modulo so it will have the same precedence as this right so for that you need to go from left to right for the postfix expression and from right to left from the prefix expression right then the third one we have that is multiplication and division multiplication and division are also having the same precedence so you need to go from left to right and right to left based on whether it is prefix or postfix right then the last one that is plus and minus right now if we go ahead with this so here we have two operators that is minus and plus two operators are there right so we can shift it now 
don't make a mistake by uh, moving this plus why because we are having the brackets and as I told you that brackets is having the highest precedence so first of all you need to solve whatever inside the bracket right so for that we are having so suppose if I am converting into prefix so inside this bracket what I am having a minus c right so brackets I need not to move the brackets but whatever inside the bracket that I need to move first right so here I am having a minus c right so what it will be done it will be considered as minus a c because we are converting it as a prefix right then plus b now this is considered as one unit right so you can if you get confused you can consider this as a x so x plus b right so x, if you have x plus b so simply what you do that's a plus x b right and then place the value of x right that's the basic thing if you got confused between this then you can do that otherwise directly also you can do this so this is your one unit and you are having this x plus b so just move forward this one so you have plus minus a c b right so this is the prefix of a minus c plus b as you can see over here right plus minus a c b right now if i want to convert it into postfix again the same thing for the postfix one first i need to solve the brackets right so it's a c minus and plus b so this would be considered as a single unit right so what you need to do that is a c b sorry a c minus b plus so that would be your answer for the post fix as you can see it over here that is a c minus b plus right now it's quite simple so we are having the next example so if we want to convert the prefix now you might think that here we have the multiplication so multiplication is having the highest precedence so we need to solve it first but before considering this multiplication we have this brackets so it might be possible if you have like this a multiply with b plus c then also you need to solve this bracket first right that is the basic thing you don't get confused by moving this uh, uh, multiplication symbol why because uh, it is having the highest precedence but the brackets are you having highest precedence than the multiplication as well right so here in this scenario what we need to do if we convert the prefix so a plus and star b c this is one unit just remove the brackets there is no need to bracket furthermore right so we can remove it right so uh, star b c and then plus move this is your one unit so move this one forward so plus a star b c this is the prefix one if i want to convert it into postfix so for that a plus b c star right this is one unit so you have a b c star plus so this is the postfix one this is the prefix one right now let us go through little bit complex expression right now here you have here it might be possible that you get confused because here we have slash and that is having the highest precedence than plus and minus right but don't forget this brackets if we have the bracket so whether like no need to uh, check the further precedence first of all we need to solve the brackets right and here we have the two brackets right so you can simultaneously solve that bracket no issue with that and if you are like uh, get little bit confused then you can solve it one by one by left to right right so for first of all we need to solve this bracket so i am converting this into prefix right so what we need to do that is plus ab i am just moving forwarding uh, this plus operator before the operand so plus ab this is my one unit then slash c minus d now again still i am having this brackets right so plus ab then slash minus cd so now this is your one unit this is your another unit so you can consider it as a x slash y 
So, it would be like slash x y right. So, similar way if you put the value. So, we have slash plus a b minus c right. Similar way you can do for the post fix as well right simple the only difference is instead of moving forward you can you have to move it backward right. Now, for this uh, example I am converting it into the post fix one one for the prefix and another one for the post fix right. So, here we have like uh, we have nesting of brackets right. So, be careful with this. So, first of all we need to solve the innermost bracket. So, as you can see the innermost bracket here is b star c and here d star b right. So, I am solving it. So, bracket a plus. So, first I am solving this. So, that is star b c and that would be considered as one unit right and this bracket is there slash c minus I am just writing it as it is right. Now, next what I need to do? I need to solve this one right. So, a plus star b c bracket slash c minus star d b. This is also one unit, this is also one unit. Now, we need to solve the outermost brackets right. So, here we have like plus a star b c this is my one unit slash. Now, I am doing this here only you can do it in the next step as well, but I am doing it here only. So, uh, minus c star d b this is the another one right and then just moving it that is star plus a star b c minus c star d b and what we have done is it a post fix? No, this one is the prefix form. So, this is not post fix, this is prefix. Why prefix? Because we are moving the operator before the operand. If we want to convert it into the post fix, we need to move it after the operand. So, for the same if I want to do it uh, like uh, you can try it by yourself right. Uh, simply what you need to do here I will show a little bit that a plus b c star this is my first one right this bracket is there slash c minus d b star right this is my first one and then if I convert this so a b c star plus this is my first one slash c d b star minus this is my second one and if I convert it that is a b c star plus c d b star minus and slash. So, this is the post fix form for this expression and this one is the prefix form for this expression right. So, I hope you all are clear with what is prefix and what is post fix. This is the shortcut method, this is the direct method, manual method by the by which you can do it right. There is another method that is using stead because that is manual method that we can do as a human we can do right. But what about the computers? Computer cannot do it right. So, for the computer we need some algorithm right. So, that algorithm uses the stack and that is the most important application of stack because you might think that this is we are doing manually. So, what is the use of stack right. So, this is the manual method I just show you how it is done why because then only you get uh, to know what is prefix, postfix and how it would be converted. Uh, for the machine language for the computer you have that algorithm and that algorithm follows the stack right. So, uh, in the next lecture onwards we will see this entire algorithm right. This is the direct manual method that I have shown you in this lecture. In the next lecture we uh, will see the conversion from infix to prefix and conversion from infix to postfix using the algorithm that is using the stack.
right? And one more, uh, uh, one more thing we have as an application of stack that is evaluation of expression, right? So for evaluating any of the expression, right, for getting answer of any of the application uh, expression that we usually we have in uh, computers, if we uh, give the input of a complex mathematical expression and it will uh, come out with the output, right? So how it will be done? So for that it uses the stack, right? So that is a evaluation of expression. Now for evaluating the expression, the user, as a user, whatever user gives the input of the expression that is not aware about what is infix, what is postfix, that will uh, give the expression in the normal form and normal form is infix form, right. So first of all, you need to convert the infix to the postfix. First you need to convert it, right, and after converting it, uh, you can evaluate that expression, right. So here we have uh, some example of expression that is 2 plus 4 minus 1 multiply with 3, right. Now I want this answer by the computer. Uh, you can do it by yourself, I know, because as a human we can simply do it, right, it's very easy. Right, but for the computer it needs algorithm, right. So here we have 2 plus 4 minus 1 multiply with 3. So we need to first of all convert it into the postfix. Remember postfix form, not the prefix form, right. For evaluating the expression we need postfix form. For the postfix what we need to do, we need to just move the operator after the operands, right. So here we have the brackets, right. So first of all we need to solve this bracket, so 4 minus 1 would be converted into 4 1 minus, right. Then we have plus and multiplication, so which one is ha having higher precedence that is multiplication, right, star is having higher precedence, right, so first of all we need to solve it, right. So 4 1 minus that would be considered as one entity and then 3, so that would be con uh, that multiply star symbol asterisk sign that would be move forward to the last one, right. So we have this 4, 1, minus 3 star, right, and then the last one plus, so we can simply move this plus to the last one, so we have like this 2, 4, 1, minus 3 star plus, right. So this is we get like in this way we can get the postfix expression, right. Now how to solve it? So simply the algorithm for uh, evaluation of any expression is simple, you need to push the operand right. If the opera, first of all you need to scan it from left to right, right. Then first you need to check that whether there is a push up, uh, whether there is an operand or a operator. If operand is there, right, then you need to push it simply to the stack. If operator is there, then you need to pop out the top two operand from the stack, apply whatever operation is there and again uh, push whatever answer uh, whatever after applying that particular operation whatever answer you will get that answer you need to push it again, right. So here first I have a 2 and as you can uh, know as you know that 2 is a operand, right. So I am just pushing it to the stack then we have 4 push it to the stack then we have 1 push it to the stack, right. Now I have minus, right. So as, as soon as the opera, operator occurs what you need to do? pop the top two elements and perform that operation between that elements, right. So here we have one top two elements, so I am popping it out, so first element is one and the another element is four, right. So if you consider this as an A and if you consider this as a B, right, so whenever you apply any operation, so it's a B minus A, not A minus B, if you do A minus B then there is a mistake. Right. So if you consider the very first operator as a B, uh, A and the second last as a B, then you need to apply B minus A, right. So here I am doing 4 minus 1. So 4 minus 1, that is a 3, right. And whatever answer is that I need to push it again to the stack. So I am pushing this 3 again to the stack. So I am having this 2 and 3 in my stack and then I am having star, right. So again I need to pop, right, 2. So here I got A as a 3 and B as a 2 and I need to perform B operator A, right. So that is a 2 multiply with 3, right. Sorry, I forget this 3, we have one more 3 over here, so we need to push that 3, so we have 2, 3, 3, 
right. Here we got the answer 3 that 3 is pushed then the another 3 is there. So, we need to push that 3 then multiplication is there. So, I get A as a 3 and B also as a 3 because we are having this 3 and this 3. So, that will perform 3 multiplied by 3 that I will get 9. So, I will push that 9 again. Then I have a plus operator. So, simply my A would be 9, my B would be 2 and B operator A that is 2 plus 9 that is 11, right. So, always do not get confused uh, for the multiplication and summation you can uh, do it uh, like uh, A plus B or B plus A both are same, but be careful with subtraction and uh, division, right. So, yeah, that is all, right. This is the simple way of evaluation of expression, right. Uh, by this, you can do it, right. I, I have uh, also explained the algorithm, simple the algorithm is like that, that you need to, if operator is there, then you need to pop the top to most uh, operand and then perform B minus a B operator A, right. And if operand is there, you need to just uh, keep on pushing it, right. That is all, right. Uh, where also, there are many uh, applications of stack. These are the very basic applications. Uh, recursion is also there. Many application of stack are there. In a real life scenario also, there are many application of stack, right? So, we will see that uh, in the next lecture, right? So, uh, in the next lecture, we will see how to convert uh, from infix to prefix or infix to postfix using stack, right? And the furthermore, uh, applications of stack that we see in the next lecture. Thank you.